So by now I've got a uh, much smoother bowl. Um, there's some discolored areas in my air dry clay. That's normal, that happens. And I'm not worried about it. That's something I'll be able to paint over. But in any case, the interior of the bowl is uh, quite a bit smoother. It's not perfect, but it's definitely an improvement. And I'm happy with that. Um, and I just, you know, as I stated in a previous video, I just used that uh, sponge, that circular sponge, patched any dents I needed to patch or fill, avoided using my fingertips too much and really concentrated on smoothing with the sponge. And of course, I had to let my clay toughen up a, a bit before smoothing. Um, you're gonna need your scrap clay handy so that you can next add one or two finishing coils along the rim of the bowl where you see the white styrofoam bowl showing up that's where you want to lay down a uh, one coil or two coils that are known as that are called as uh, finishing coils you'd like you need these to be pencil thick um, hopefully you have room for two you may not, but shoot for two finishing coils if possible. Make that a goal. If not, one will be enough, depending on the situation. Um, so I've got this wavy top half of my bowl, top layer. And what I'm going to do essentially with my first finishing coil is I'm just going to lightly press down and kind of mimic the waves and um, again add I'm basically adding a coil on top of my wavy rim because what I'm trying to do is perfect the rim make a new rim that's less wavy and again I was able to roll out one long pencil thick coil you may not be able to and you might have to have two coils come together to fool people into thinking it's one coil that's totally fine. So I'm pressing down a little bit. Again, I just want that coil to kind of pick up the waviness of my bowl. And then it'll be a uh, time to blend with a popsicle stick or a uh, the handle of a fork. And just spend some time going round and round blending the lower half of the coil. If you need to fill in gaps with a ball of clay, like before, go for it. If you see styrofoam bowl showing up, please plug that up. Otherwise, the coil might, might get the job done. You'll have to gauge that on your own. And then, uh, like I said, just spend time blending the lower half and only the lower half of that coil. Go round and round. Support it with your free hand just focusing on that seam, that line where the coil touches the top part of your bowl. 